Hi there, and welcome to the Content Hub's Conspiracy Theories. Today we will be looking at false flag events. A false flag operation is a covert operation that is designed to deceive the public into believing it was conducted by a group other than the one that actually carried it out. The idea is to create the appearance of a legitimate attack or provocation, while hiding the involvement of the true perpetrator. False flag operations are often used to start or justify wars, or to discredit an enemy. Here are a few examples of alleged or historical false flag operations. The sinking of the Lusitania. In 1915, the British ocean liner RMS Lusitania was sunk by a German submarine, killing 1,198 people, including 128 Americans. The event helped to turn public opinion against Germany and was a factor in the United States' decision to enter World War I. Some historians believe that the British government allowed the Lusitania to be sunk as a way to provoke the United States into the war. The Gulf of Tonkin Incident In 1964, the United States claimed that its ships had been attacked by North Vietnamese forces in the Gulf of Tonkin. The incident was used as a justification for the Vietnam War. In 2005, it was revealed that the US government had falsified evidence of the attacks. Operation Northwoods In the early 1960s, the US military proposed a series of false flag operations as a way to justify an invasion of Cuba. The plans included staging fake Cuban attacks on U.S. military bases and sinking a U.S. ship in Cuban waters. The operation was ultimately rejected by the Kennedy administration. The Reichstag fire, in 1933, the German parliament building, the Reichstag, was set on fire. The Nazi party, led by Adolf Hitler, blamed the fire on communist agitators and used it as a justification for passing the Enabling Act, which gave Hitler dictatorial powers. Some historians believe that the fire was actually started by the Nazis as a false flag operation. The Levon Affair In the 1950s, Israeli agents planted bombs in American and British-owned theaters, libraries, and other public places in Egypt. The bombings were designed to create the appearance of Arab terrorism and to undermine the Egyptian government. The operation was named after Defense Minister Pinhas Levon, who resigned after the plot was exposed. The Gleibitz Incident In 1939, Nazi agents dressed in Polish military uniforms attacked a German radio station in Gliwice, Poland. The incident was used by Germany as justification for the invasion of Poland, which marked the start of World War II. The Kobar Towers bombing In 1996, a truck bomb exploded at a U.S. military housing complex in Saudi Arabia, killing 19 American servicemen. The attack was initially blamed on Iran but it was later revealed that the perpetrators were members of a Saudi extremist group with ties to Al-Qaeda. Some have suggested that the Saudi government may have had a role in the attack, although this has never been proven. The Baghdad Wedding Party Airstrike In 2003, the US military bombed a wedding party in western Iraq, killing over 40 people. The US claimed that the wedding party was actually a gathering of terrorists and that the attack was justified. However, eyewitness accounts and evidence from the scene suggested that the victims were civilians. The incident fueled anti-American sentiment in Iraq and contributed to the insurgency that followed the U.S. invasion. The Syrian chemical attack In 2013, the Syrian government was accused of using chemical weapons against civilians in the Ghouta region near Damascus. The attack, which killed hundreds of people, was used as justification for U.S. military intervention in the Syrian civil war. However, some have suggested that the attack was actually carried out by rebel groups in an attempt to provoke foreign intervention. These are just a few examples of false flag operations. It is important to note that the true nature of many historical events is often debated and that it can be difficult to definitively determine the motivations behind them. Again, it is important to note that the true nature of many historical events is often debated and that it can be difficult to definitively determine the motivations behind them. What do you think? Leave your comments below. Like and subscribe for more content.